Hey guys. Um, my name is Mary Beth. I own a small company called Joko Jumpers. I breed jumping spiders, mainly um, Phytopus regius or um, Phytopus odiosus. I sometimes um, breed adox, but um, mainly regal and canopy jumpers. Um, today I need to separate some of my regal babies that are ready to go in cups individually um, before any type of cannibalizing starts to happen. Um, it's, you know, kind of crazy how some of the slings that are all from the same sex, some are super small and some are way bigger. Um, and what can happen is that if they stay together too long, then um, the big ones can kind of bully the smaller ones and, you know, have them as a little snack instead of fruit flies. So, um, today I'm going to show you how I move them from their, um, cups together. They stay in cups like this together to begin with and then when they're ready they go into little deli cups um i've already made the deli cups um, with tiny holes where they can't escape but um it's something i have to do anyway so i figured why not record it um hopefully it's something that you enjoy um i will also be feeding them individually um, in their little cups and I'll show you my trick for how I do that. Um, I don't claim to be a know-it-all. I have, you know, everybody does things different. This is just what works for me. Um, but it may be something that can work for you as well. Instead of having a million fruit flies all over the place, um, it really helps control how many each cup gets and, um, yeah, it's just what works for me. So hopefully it can help you too. Um, but if there are any other tips and tricks you have, feel free to leave them in the comments because I'm open to listen to everything. Okay, so first I am going to pause for a second and go ahead and put an R on all the lids of the cups so that I know that they are regals. Um, like I said, I do breed them. I do sell at expos. Um, I do sell locally. And um, I definitely don't want to get the slings mixed up because at this size, um, it would be extremely easy to do. So I'm going to take a minute to do all that. And then I will come back and show you how I manage the fruit flies. finished putting all the babies into their little deli cups and I added um, some little pipe cleaners for them to crawl around on. Now I am going to put little q-tips in. I like to um, get wooden q-tips, cut the tips off, have them just damp enough that um, the babies can get moisture without having to spray their whole cup um, because they are so easy to drown at this stage. Um, I am no expert. My way is not the only way. I know that there are several other people who, um, you know, will keep them in the cup all together or put five in a cup or ten in a cup keep them all together but in my experience this going ahead and separating them now that they are established and they're for sure eating fruit flies um it just cuts down on cannibalism and i don't have near as many losses um 
I have been doing this for quite a while now. Um, I do breed, um, and I'm also not a linguist. So some people say Regius, some people say Regis. Um, it's the regal jumping spiders, um, in layman's terms. Um, I definitely did not study Latin like I should have. Um, I also have odiosis babies, which are canopy jumpers. Um, and they are, there's way more. I ended up getting a total of 35 for these. These are probably going to be around a hundred at least. Um, but again, I do breed them. This is um, just what I have found works best for me. Um, so I don't want anyone to say, you know, this is the only way to do things. It's just what makes my life easier. Um, especially whenever I have 500 slings at a time. Um, because I have several ladies on egg sacs now. Um, and these are just the ones at the stage that I can move them around and start putting them on their own individual cups. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And um, maybe it's something that you can apply to feeding your babies if you have slings. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so now we are going to feed all these busy fruit flies to the spiderlings, um, slings, whichever you prefer to call them. I'm not a stickler for, oh, you didn't say sling, but um, this is what I have found that's easiest for me. And I wish I knew who I saw do this trick um because i would totally give them credit for it but a long time ago i saw someone take um a funnel and a little bottle with the cap where you can cap it off so they won't escape um i saw someone do this a long time ago and it's just a genius way to get it done. You have more control of how many you squeeze into their little containers. Um, and you may get one or two that fall out. I'm doing a video, so of course, watch it, you know, make a mess. But hopefully it'll go as planned and like it normally does. So I don't have a million little tiny fruit flies all over my table. Um, but it's super simple. It's what works for me. Again, you know, I'm not perfect. And what works for me may not work for you. Um, and you may not have as many slings as I have. <laughs> um, so anyway, here we go. done with feeding the slings for today. Um, I do have some fruit flies left in the bottle. So what I typically do um, is I'll either just squirt them back in the culture or since I do have these guys that aren't quite ready 
to be put in cup shot individually. Um, what I think I'm going to do is just put them in here with them and feed them as a big group. Um, I am going to kind of inspect. There's a tiny egg sac left in here. And I'm going to see if there's any babies left in it. But these are definitely hardy babies. And I'll try to get you a little view. See if it'll focus. 